Right, welcome to uh, Single Track Towers on location, as you can see with our wonderful, wonderful tent here. First star. Uh, I'm joined by the incomparable uh, Cedric Gracia. <laughs> um, so, just a couple of questions, really. Um, we'll start off by, uh, uh, you know, Happy New Year, all that stuff. Oh, and, yeah, and, and how was 2015 for you? Uh, can you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. New Year's Eve or 2015? The whole thing. Uh, what, what were the, yeah, the key 2015, points? I remember. Like, it was a pretty good year because I switched of uh, racing non-stop to making camps now, CG yeah. fun camps, and I realized and that's definitely the stuff I like to do, teach people how to ride and only compete all the time. And I went to a lot of countries like Russia and uh, Slovenia, everywhere and uh, even Japan and uh, I just have a blast you know like uh, my sponsors been following me and uh, uh, pushing me on my camps and uh, supporting them with uh, you know supports and bikes and parts and yeah and meeting great people all over the, all over the world and I basically met the people who just like to ride bikes they like competition but they don't like to compete all the time then uh, they like they they usually go to enduro races to have a track done and they yeah. go with their friends but the result they don't care. Uh, yeah, then I'm like, yeah, that's, exa yeah. that's exactly what it is. Then my camps are just to go and ride with your friend, and when we're done riding, we can drink a beer. Oh, that and sounds like, fantastic. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, that's why we do camps because <laughs> we don't want to look at the time. We don't care. So I just want to be with my mates. So is, is 2016 going to be more of the same? Yeah, uh, 2016 is going to be the same. That's my first uh, product launch I do with Santa Cruz. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> we had so much fun, you know? I mean, meeting the journalists, usually I meet them, like, when you win a race or when yeah, you do yeah, something, yeah. you know what I mean? And now I ride bikes with them, and we all hang out and have a good time. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. We have fun, we crash. I mean, we all share... <laughs> yeah, I crashed <laughs> today big time. <laughs> and, and, you know, and uh, at the evening, we all sleep in the same area. We all eat at the same place. We all laugh. Get some drinks and yeah, happy days. Yeah, but that's what that's what that's what biking is for me. Yeah. And uh, we talk about with Santa Cruz and that stuff. I want to do more and more, and they like the way I'm. They like this way I'm taking, because if I'm I'm more an ambassador now for the brands. I I, I work for them. I develop uh, parts or uh, like shoes, like with No Wave or yeah. IXS helmet, and because I have time now to work with them straight, you know, yeah. and, on products. And this is what I like because all those 20 years that you cannot put them in the trash, you know, you need to use them. And I think I have a pretty good feeling on stuff I use and I'm pretty critical on stuff. Yeah. Then uh, I'm, I'm not the nicest sometimes when you come to like when I have to to take apart a piece. And uh, but that's the way I think we we move forward. And but with the team I have, like it could be with Santa Cruz or AXS and all the sponsors that work mm -hmm. straight. They know me that way. I mean, like, I'm going to be hard. Um, but that's the only way you make... If not, we make the same products than everyone else. Like, we yeah. just make, okay, and it's fine. Exactly. Now, now people are not stupid. They're educated people, you know? They, they, they know a lot more, like, especially those enduro guys. They, they want the weight, they want the performance. They're between 25 to 45 or 50 years old. Yeah. I mean, they're paying bikes between 3 grand to 10. Yeah. You think that's stupid? No. Then no, they ride as much as I, I do sometimes. Yeah. I met a lot of people who ride sometimes even more. And uh, that's, that's what I like. The sport is getting more professional in terms of buyers as well. They don't buy shit anymore. They yeah. don't buy like, okay, this is cheap, I buy it. No. People are going to look the price, of course, but they're going to don't mind to pay a little bit more for something who's so much better. Yeah, awesome. Then that's why Santa Cruz is really good at it because they have the brand, they have the look, and they have the performance. Then that's why this product is being really hot lately. Where every time they, they shop with a bike, is <laughs> everyone is like, ah, yeah. and they see it because they have a shop. It's crazy. Is this change in emphasis? Um, uh, you, you had a pretty bad crash mm. when you severed your artery. Yeah. Your femoral artery, was yeah. it? Yeah, a yeah. few years ago. Yeah. And and has that changed your outlook at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I was getting way... Uh, like every athlete, if you want to do good, you have to be selfish, you have to train hard, and uh, it's you, 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 you. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I start to crash a lot, and I start to realize, why? Why do, why do I have to be that guy who just like uh, punish himself, want to do good, get pissed off when he don't do good. And when he's in the hospital, he's like, oh, I love my bike so much. And the only thing I pray is to be able to walk to ride again. 
Yeah. Then I'm like, hey, let's change this. Result never been really important for me. It been important when I was younger. Yeah. I did it for me and for my family to be happy and mm-hmm. my mom and all this. That's how kids do. But for me, really, I was happy on the moment. But next day, yeah, it's already gone. Then yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, see you later. You know, like, and I'm like, yeah, I know a lot of people who are really famous and do good. The only thing they talk when we at dinner or something is like how good they are or how good they've been. Yeah. When it when they're done about a sport or something, and I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that guy you know, of, oh, I was so good. I did this, and now this it's is all, past. It's all past. Tense, it's all past. It? Yeah, it's finished. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. We in 2016. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Then I prefer. I was like in bed, and I was like, the only thing I want basically is ride, mm-hmm. develop product, make the best thing I can do with my sponsors, try to market it good, and. Um, if I can make people ride bikes, even better. Then I'm like, yeah, let's do camps and let's do this and do videos. Video, I like it, but in the beginning, we was doing videos so good, like a new world disorder. For me, it was, uh, sorry to call this like the porn of biking. It was yeah, I know what you best. Mean. Yeah. It was for me, you look at the video, you're like, oh, you want to go riding and you yeah, go crazy. Yeah, yeah. After all those videos came so easy with digital and stuff, it was good, but we lost a little bit the emotion and stuff uh, of... Um, not n- n- didn't know what you have in the cam yeah. on the 16 or something. You go all around the world, you don't even know what you have. Yeah, I know. And you're like, all right, we have to wait for perfect light, for perfect this, and we shred it, and you don't know what you have. And I was like, okay, those videos are good. I don't say the video was shit, but mm. the video was good, but we didn't have what we had with uh, Free Entertainment. And I was like, okay, I'm going to make my little movie, then the shit one. Yeah. <laughs> I, will, I took that young kid from Stannis and I'm like, hey, you want to do some uh, uh, CG, uh, through my eyes video? He's like, yeah, yeah, let's film and just be you and I film and we make something funny. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. I don't want something too crazy. I want I want no more writing than people relate and I would just, uh, I want to have videos and people, they click on the net, they look and they laugh and they're like, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That's it. I don't want to be, oh my God, what he did, it's too crazy. No, just make something cool, fun, make you happy, and we'll see. And yeah, we get a lot of success with uh, those videos and making photos as well make me always happy, especially when you work with like, you know, all those guys here, like uh, yeah. yes, Van Pisco, Master um, Flipper. Oh, yeah. You know, when you film, uh, when you take photo with those guys, you know, like, those guys are so good. You always get the good shot. Well, and exactly. they, always, they, they make things even more pretty than it is. It's awesome. Like, they get the good angle. Mm-hmm. I love this because I, I love photo. I'm not good at making photo, but I like to look at good photos. So yes, I know what you mean. Like, you know, like scenery we have here and all this. Like, I see picture for everyone. Yeah. It's beautiful. I should probably point out at this point that we're stuck in the middle of Patagonia. I know this tent looks exquisite, but believe me, the stuff around here, I'll post some photos. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the quick quick in the morning, not so good. And the cow the other day, oh man, I wanted to make a big yeah, the, barbecue. The, the cow was uh, was interesting, noisy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So Just riding, and you know, you're based fun. in Andorra. Yep. What do you do when you're not riding, doing videos, all that sort of stuff? Like everyone, no, I do nothing. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, usually, it's a pretty normal day. I wake up eight, nine in the gym. Uh, before I eat, like everyone, I mm-hmm. go to the toilet too, and yeah, sometimes. <laughs> uh, take care. the first thing I do though. It's it's true. I wake up, I get my phone, I look Facebook, Instagram. I see all the new stuff, and if I have the photo from the day before, or the day I'm, you know, I like to put stuff. Then if I don't have a photo in the morning, I'm going to do my training and just try to have. If people follow, I like to put something one or two a day. Yeah, just you know. People like to see what you do, you know, then that's why I like to do this as well. Do a little bit of email, fitness at nine, like around two hours, come back home, do more emails, get lunch, go skiing, another training. Skiing? Come, yeah, um, skiing or touring, depends. Okay. Usually I have two trainings a day, but now because I do more camps, my trainer give me one. Right. But because I get a little bit bigger, it's like, hey, we're back on the program that before, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Okay, boss. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, because I like to, yeah, I don't want to get huge. And I know when you've been training for so long, if you quit a little bit and you don't pay attention when you eat, all of a sudden you, you get big. Yeah. Then I don't want that. 
I see my dad I'm, like, I'm not going to be like this okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah and do this and uh, uh, when I'm tired of snow usually I go to Canaria Grand Canaria oh yeah and I go for uh, road biking for one month I make like 3000 K or two and a two eight sometimes. Bad, yeah. yeah. I just like every day, every day, every day just to get fit and you know, in the sun, it's easier yeah. in the afternoon. I do enduro with a friend, go back home. Usually this is January or February, depends the months I'm free. And, uh, yeah, just train emails. Like, I mean, I get a lot of emails, like either it's fans or it's sponsors asking for questions and yeah. testing products. Or it's a uh, calendar, what we do, or dealing with people who want me to go to do CG camps. Like, I mean, we have to plan it, and I hate when it's not planned right, and I go yeah. to a place when it's not done right, because you put your name there, and if it's shit, you take the consequences. Yeah. People, we trash you before they we trash other people. And it's normal, because it's internet, it's, uh, it's easy. Yeah then I prefer to have all this done right. And after races, uh, start races, uh, Coupe Catalana, uh, end of February or March. Uh, yeah, February depends. Uh, yeah, February or March depends the year. Do the Catalan Cup because I like to race enduro there and it's beautiful uh, tracks. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, in Spain as well. And after we have the first EWS, so I'm going to do the two first ones and maybe Italy. I'm going to be Valdivia and, and uh, Bariloche. Mm -hmm. And after we'll see, because I don't like too much the concept of the enduro right now. It's, for me, it's not really enduro. Enduro is what we do here. Enduro EWS. So the, you mean, no enduro you mean me. gravity enduro? Yeah, sort of yeah, yeah. Just like blind riding. No one know really the trail. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. You pay yeah. attention instead of going to a race and everyone know the trail. Yeah. They've been here for months of practicing and you competing with people who basically know all the track. Then, yeah, if it's to go and do a race and suffer <laughs> and be 40. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't have time for this. No, I, I know prefer. You. I prefer to go to a beautiful place. Then I'm going to ride bikes with, uh, with uh, um, people who like to ride bikes and yeah. like to be with you. I prefer to spend my time like this. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Cedric, that's great. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, back to the studio. You want a beer? <laughs> I'd love one. Yes, please. <laughs>